In what situation would a person wear armor? You're right. A soldier would wear armor to protect him, right? So he would protect himself against the enemy. And in the same way, we have an armor. I know that's kind of surprising, right? But let's read in Ephesians chapter 6. It says in verse 13, Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. So we have an armor to put on every day, but it's not like the kind of armor, right, that, that a, a, a warrior would wear. It's something that is more of a picture of the things that God puts in our lives to help protect us from the evil one. And so putting that on helps us to stand, like the Bible says, to stand firm or to be bold, like our um, word up for today, correct? So today, we're going to start with the first piece of armor. And it says in Ephesians 6, verse 14, Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth. So our first piece of armor is the belt. Now I often wonder why in the world belt would be first. I want you to think about what a belt does. A belt kind of holds it all together, right? So we kind of think of the belt as the last thing we would put on. But there's a very important thing that we need to know, and that is that the belt of truth refers to God's word. And it's extremely important that we put first things first. And God's word, which is truth, comes before anything else. We need to know the truth so that we're able to stand boldly and to give an account of what God has done in our lives. And so we want to first of all think of fastening on that belt of truth. That means that every day we have the opportunity to look into God's word and to see what the truth is and then to live that truth in our everyday life. Now you may sometimes hear, and I've heard this, well, that's not really my truth. Or, you know, but I don't really believe that, so it's not truth. But the fact is that if it's the truth, there's no wavering with that. It is the truth, and God's word is the truth, and God is truth. So anything that we see come along that doesn't agree with God or doesn't agree with God's word, we can understand that that's not truth. So sometimes there are things like, for instance, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? Okay, so maybe it's cookie dough ice cream or chocolate chip ice cream, and that's truth, right? But maybe five years from now, when you get a little older, you'll have a new favorite kind of ice cream. So that truth will have changed. But there are a lot of truths that don't change, and one of those is that God is truth and that his word is truth. And we can always trust in that. We can always rely in, on his word knowing that it is truth. So each day, the first thing we want to put on, let's kind of wrap it around us, okay? Let's wrap that belt around us. The first thing we want to put on is the belt of truth. We want to get into God's word, and we want to learn from God's word. So I'm going to ask you all at home to read out loud some of the truths that we do find in God's word, and we here are going to read them along with you, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the screen, and you at home can read those out loud. You are wonderfully made by God. God is powerful, loving, and good. God knows everything and is everywhere. If you believe on Jesus, God is always with you. If you believe on Jesus, nothing can separate you from God's love. If you believe on Jesus, God has a plan for you to do good works. Your life has a purpose. Aren't those some amazing truths? Those are true in your life and in my life. And every day this week, I encourage you to spend time reading God's word 
and learning truths from God's word for your own life and being bold as you stand for him. Let's go ahead and pray as we finish out today. Lord, we want to thank you so much for your truths, for God's word that gives us truths that we can stand firmly on it. We can be bold in your word. Lord, help us this week in our busyness to not get so busy that we forget to take time to spend learning from your word learning more about you and applying those things in our lives. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We love you guys.